God speaks to us through the word. God speaks to us through the inward witness. God speaks to us through what we call the gentle whisper, the voice of the spirit. God speaks to us through ideas and images. A, a picture is worth a thousand words. And sometimes when God wants to tell you something, it will just put a picture in your heart. You will know this is too much for me, all right? Sometimes God will speak to you through dreams and visions. At other times, God will speak to you through other people, like ministers of the gospel, fellow believers, and authority figures in your life, like your parents and your mentors. And God speaks to us in those different kind of ways. But this morning, I just want to answer just one question. And somebody is saying, how can I be sure that this is God speaking to me? God's spoken word will never contradict his written word. Amen. One man went to R.W. Shambach in his days and said um, he had a vision. An angel stood by his bed and told him that he was married to the wrong person. So that he should divorce his wife. And the angel showed him another sister in the church that that is his wife. That he married wrongly. Amen. So he went to R.W. Shambach and said, sir, what should I do? R.W. Shambach said, but you know the Bible says, no, 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 I know what the Bible says, but what do you say? And a lot of people have been asking themselves that question. What does the Bible say? For this reason shall a man leave his father and his mother, and the two of them shall cleave. See, the word cleave there is as in glued together with a bond. So it says, whatsoever God has joined together, let not man put asunder. Amen? So, Pastor, what if I am married to the wrong person? Yes, you're married. Work it out. Pastor, what are you trying to say? Because with God, all things are possible. To him who believes, all things. So look your spouse in the face and say, sometimes I feel you're the wrong guy, but I'll work with you. <laughs> Is somebody with me? We would make this work. And you don't have an escapist mentality. Another person is broke. And he says, so brother, what are you going to do to get money? I'm praying, I'm waiting on God. I'm waiting on God, I'm waiting on God, I'm waiting on God. The Bible says, let him that does not what? Walk. Let him not eat. So what's the first thing to do? Get a job. As a matter of fact, sister, if you know the Bible very well, don't marry a man without a job. Because God gave Adam work before he gave him wife. As a matter of fact, the reason for wife is because there's work. So a man without work does not deserve a wife. Hello? And before you marry husband and wife, sit down and plan. What are we going to eat? How many children are we going to have? Where are we going to live? Pastor, why? Because the Bible says which one of you intending to build a tower will not first sit down. That's Bible. So it's jobless. This is where I'm going now. And you say, but, but I know what God said. God said I should marry him. So if it is true God said to marry him, the fulfillment of prophecy is what? Is to get a job first. See, because at the end of the day, it is not the prophecy that will give you a problem in the marriage. It's the joblessness. Amen? So how can I be sure this is God speaking to me? Your knowledge of scripture determines the accuracy of your hearing. The moment you are ignorant in the word, you can be deceived. So the devil came to Jesus. If you are the son of God, turn these stones to bread. What was Jesus' response? I don't feel like Hmm? No, 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 I'm not hungry. Because that's the response some of us are giving the pressures of life. What did he respond? It is written. The moment you don't know what is written, you are caught. Yeah.